for R7. As I told you before, R means the decimal point. This should be equal to 4.7 ohm. 4.7 ohm. As you can see, we have 4.8 ohm. So this is a good resistor. Okay? This should be equal to 0 0.7 mega ohm as you can see 0 0.754 mega ohm okay i'm going to show you how to test all types of smt resistors using the multimeter so the first resistor that we're gonna test is this as you can see we have one zero zero so the third number is zero the resistance of this resistor is 10 ohm okay so let's check it. We should find 10 ohm in the multimeter. So as you can see in the multimeter, we have 10.3 means 10 ohm. Okay. So this is a good resistor. Let's check this resistor. Also, we have 471. The multiplier is 1. So means 470 ohms. 470 ohms. So let's check. As you can see, we have 465.1 means 470 ohms. So this is a good resistor. Okay. As you can see. Here, this is a network resistor where we have 1, 0, and 3. So 3 is the multiplier. 3 means 3 zeros. This resistor equal to 10,000 ohm or 10 kilo ohms. Okay. 10 kilo ohms as you can see 9.93 about 10 kilo ohms as you can see in the multimeter we have 10 kilo ohms so let's check this resistor also so we have three zeros means this is a fuse resistor okay this is a fuse resistor we have here in the multimeter 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 means 0 ohm so this is a good resistor okay as you can see in the multimeter, the value is correct. Let's check this. As you can see, we have 4 R7. As I told you before, R means the decimal point. This should be equal to 4.7 ohm. 4.7 ohm. As you can see, we have 4.8 ohm. So this is a good resistor. Okay? This is a serviceable resistor. So let's check those resistors also. As you can see, we have 105. The multiplier is 5, means 5 zeros. We will add 5 zeros. This should be equal to 1 mega ohm. 1 mega ohm. So let's check. So as you can see, we have 0 0.996 or 97, means 1 mega ohm. Okay, so as you can see, the unit is the mega ohm. So this is a good resistor. 1 mega ohm so this is a good resistor so let's check this resistor also the same value we should get 1 mega ohm as you can see in the multimeter we get 1 mega ohm so let's check this resistor as you can see we have 150 means 15 volt okay 15 volt we should get 15 volt as you can see we have 15.5 as you can see this is correct so this is a good resistor Here we have another resistor with 754. So the 4, the third number is the multiplier. 4 means 4 zeros. This should be equal to 0 0.7 mega ohm, as you can see. 0 0.754 mega ohm, okay? As you can see in the multimeter. Here we have another network resistor with three numbers. We have 3, 2, 22 so the third number is two means two zeros this should be 2.2 kilo ohm or 2222 ohms let's check we should get 2.2 kilo ohms as you can see we have 2.19 means 2.2 kilo ohms so this is a good resistor as you can see in the multimeter here we have another fuse resistor as you can see this time with one zero of course with the same working principle we should get zero ohm as you can see we have 0 0.3 means zero ohm 
means this is a good fuse resistor okay here we have another resistor we have one five two so two is the multiplier so this should be equal to 1.5 kilo ohm 1.5 kilo ohm as you can see in the multimeter we have 1.45 means 1.5 kilo ohm this is a good resistor okay here we have another network resistor we have six eight one okay means 680 ohms because the multiplier is one we will add one zero to 68 means 680 ohms we should get 680 ohms so let's check as you can see as you can see here this is a current sense resistor so basically we should find here zero as you can see we have r020 as you can see we have 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 this is a good resistor here as you can see we have another resistor where we have as you can see 2r2 this should be 2.2 volts okay because r means decimal point as you can see 2.4 ohms 2 2.2 ohms as you can see in the multimeter 2.4 ohms this is a good resistor here we have 1 r0 means 1 ohm this should be equal to 1 ohm because r means decimal point so this resistor should be 1 ohm let's check it out as you can see we have 1 ohm okay 1.1 or 1 ohm this is a good resistor so this is a motherboard for the mobile phone and over here we have two resistors as you can see we have two current sense resistor we have r010 this should be equal to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 okay so this is basically like a fuse resistor we should find 0 ohm or 0 0.1 ohm as you can see we have 0 0.1 0 0.2 this is a good consensus resistor samples of resistors so as you can see here all these samples are for resistors okay for example for this two samples are for the standard resistor as you can see so basically this is a us symbol and this this is universal symbol okay so these two symbols for standard resistor these two symbols as you can see are for the light dependent resistor or the photo resistors we have here two arrows here okay and this symbol is for the network resistor as you can see we have here four resistor so the network resistor is a combination of many resistors basically we use the network resistor in order to gain the space in the motherboard and for these two symbols as you can see are for the thermistor resistor okay the thermistor resistor now we're gonna see how to calculate the resistor code so generally the smd resistor can have three or four digits the last digit represent the number of zeros the letter r shows the position of the decimal point when it is placed before or between digits okay so generally you can find two kinds or two types of resistors you can find a resistor with three digit or four digit so always the first digit and the second are a fixed numbers and the third one or the fourth one for this type of resistor is the multiplier okay so here we have the first digit the second digit and the multiplier here we have the first digit the second and the third digits are fixed and the fourth is the multiplier so let's see some examples here so here as you can see if you find this code 
in the resistor. 100 watt means 100 ohms. So one means we will add one zero. Okay. So 102 means 1000 ohm. As you can see, the multiplier is two. Here we will add two zeros equal to one kilo ohms. 123 we will add three zeros so equal to 12 kilo ohms 155 we will add here as you can see five zeros means 1.5 mega ohms so for the the resistors with four digits so the first digit the second and the third are fixed numbers and the fourth digit is the multiplier here we have one we will add one zero here we have two two zeros here four four zeros okay so when you find r so as we have here in the definition the letter r shows the position of the decimal point this is the decimal point as you can see here okay when it is placed before okay like this example or between digits like this example okay so here we have r10 means 0 0.1 ohm 5r4 means 5.4 ohm 7r50 means 7.5 ohm 50r0 means 50 ohm so we're gonna see right now a note as you can see sometimes instead of the letter r you may find letter k or the letter m all that letter shows the position of the decimal point but with different units so letter r refers to ohms okay letter k refers to kilo ohms letter m refers to mega ohms so let's see some examples here we have r10 means 0 0.1 ohm because we have r 5r4 equal to 5.4 ohm so here we have k10 means 0 0.1 kilo ohm 5 K4 means 5.4 kilo ohm because we have K and for the M, M10 equal to 0 0.1 mega ohms. 5M4 means 5.4 mega ohm.